Hi, I'm Ashley Ginsberg, and welcome to Humans of Northampton on the Transcript. This show will take a look at individuals in Northampton, both inside and outside of the high school. This week, we take a look at Norman Cody, a history teacher here at NHS. Last year, Mr. Cody taught the school's first ever modern Middle Eastern history class, a semester-long course concluded by a research paper on a Middle Eastern country of the student's choosing. The class was received well by students like myself, and he's looking to offer the course as an elective next year. I sat down with Mr. Cody to discuss the class and find out a little bit more about him. When you first started teaching at NHS, what were the typical sort of classes that you would teach? Well, I taught the freshmen, uh, which would be in your class. I taught them early modern world history, and I taught US 1 in the spring to sophomores. Which, which year did you start teaching here? Well, it was four years ago, mm -hmm. so I don't, you do the math. I, <laughs> <laughs> what is the year now? Uh, what it's year? 2018. 2018. So it was 20. 13, the fall of 2013. Okay. Yep. So when did, you, when did you first start to get interested in Middle Eastern history, and when did you decide that you wanted to teach a course on that? Yeah, Middle Eastern history is something, you know, that in my childhood was, it was just constant, you know, just like in your childhood, talk of the Middle East was always there. And so I think originally I started with the idea like, well, let's do an elective about world history. And I kind of started to cast around and I'm really glad that I said on the Middle Eastern history because I think it's the, my strength as a teacher is to teach about power. Mm -hmm, for sure. Not culture necessarily or themes, but really how power is gained, how it's lost, how it's transferred. So the Middle East is perfect for that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, what did you do to sort of prepare for the class? Like how, how was it to make that shift from teaching just a general mm -hmm. sort of overview of like, world history, which is hard to cover yeah. in a semester, obviously. Yeah. But how did you make the shift to doing such a pointed subject? Yeah, it's a good question, because it's trying to get as specific as possible. Mm -hmm. Couple of things. One, I read and read and read and read. I mean, I really read for about a year on it. Like, and I didn't read anything but Middle Eastern books. And there's so many excellent Middle Eastern books out mm -hmm. there. I mean, just fantastic. So it was a pleasure to read. And I also met with about three or four professors around the area and just introduced myself. They didn't know me from Adam, but I introduced myself and they were very helpful. I mean, one of them really reshaped the course and said, you really can't cover Islamic history like that. It's gonna to be too broad. And that was a very helpful meeting. So, you know, between reading and watching some films and watching some documentaries, but mostly reading and meeting with professors. Right. Yeah. So obviously you haven't always taught at the high school. Uh, what were you doing before you started teaching? Well, after some time in the prison system, uh, no. um, well, I was in New York City for 20 years. I was in a, wanted to be a famous whatever, probably writer or a musician, and that didn't work out. Um, and so I was a tour guide for eight years in New York, which I love that job on the double-decker buses. If you're my student, you know I've talked about that. And I did all kinds of uh, odd jobs, web design, dem demolition. I worked in a nightclub. And then I met my wife, and then I realized that I probably should have a job that I could move with. And then I became interested in teaching really quite late, probably 37 years old. Mm -hmm. And so it's my sixth year teaching. But the transition took about three or four years. But I've done a lot of different jobs. And this is, this is a great job. Right. Yeah. My, my favorite of all of the, the projects that you have done before teaching is obviously the rock opera you yeah. wrote. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I wrote a rock opera about the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. And it's a mystical and mythical version of it. And it is, um, yeah. I actually have a snippet right here. <laughs> Do you? Can Should we, we play it? it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. This track is Washington Roebling being guided to the surface of the East River by a eyeless female gendered beast. Lovely. But just a, just a few opening lines here. What do we got? Yes, yes. It's not bad. No, it's very good. Yeah, it's cool. It's not me singing. No, I'm shocked it yeah. never got picked up. I really am. Uh, Yeah, why was that not made into a famous You're, production? Uh, no idea. 
What's wrong? What's wrong with the world? Yeah. Well, I don't know. All right. So I'm Ashley Ginsberg, and tune in next week, and we'll be interviewing another human of Northampton.